Hey everyone, this is Alessandro Brooks from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the recipe for some candy ginger chips and also a ginger syrup. The chips make for a beautiful garnish for different dishes, desserts, drinks. They're also great on their own. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to be using one pound of young ginger. Young ginger has a less intense flavor and is less fibrous than older ginger roots. We're gonna start by peeling the ginger. The easiest way to do this is to use a spoon and scrape it against the skin. The skin should come out very easily, especially on younger ginger roots. You can break the ginger root into pieces if you wish. I'm keeping it whole so the final chips have the original shape of the ginger root. Once you're done peeling the ginger, wash it under some running water to remove any pieces of loose skin. Next, set a mandolin at one and a half to two millimeters in thickness and carefully slice the ginger roots. Always be very careful when using a mandolin and use a hand guard if you wish. As I mentioned, I like to keep the ginger root whole before slicing, so the chips have a nice shape of the original ginger. Next, transfer the ginger into a big enough pan. Then add two and a half cups of water and two cups of granulated sugar. Turn the heat on and bring it to a boil, mixing it lightly to dissolve the sugar and separate any slices of ginger that may be stuck together. Once it comes to a boil, lower the heat and let it simmer for 35 to 40 minutes. Once done, the ginger slices are gonna be slightly translucent and the syrup is gonna turn more of an amber color. Line a couple of baking trays with silicone mats or parchment paper. Transfer the ginger slices onto the baking tray, arranging them so they stay flat. Set your oven temperature at 175 Fahrenheit. You can also use a dehydrator. Place the ginger trays in the oven and let it dehydrate for two and a half to three hours. Do not throw away the ginger syrup. Pass it through a sieve and save it. The ginger syrup can be used in the preparation of different dishes, desserts and drinks. It can be kept in the fridge for an extended period of time. The ginger chips are done when completely dry to the touch. You can remove them earlier if you wish to have a slightly chewy chip, but with this recipe we're looking for crispy and crunchy. And the ginger chips are ready. These are great to be eaten on their own but they also make for a beautiful garnish to different dishes and drinks. Here, for example, I'm using the ginger chips to top a blackened salmon with pineapple salsa. The ginger chips can be kept in an airtight container or Ziploc bag and will keep for an extended period of time. I hope you have enjoyed the recipe Please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching.